In the previous video, I gave an overview of what we'd see in Rome on the Truth, Goodness, and Beauty pilgrimage to Italy by One Rolling Adventure and 206 Tours. But that's only the first half of our trip, because after we leave Rome, we'll stop in one of my favorite cities in Italy, Orvieto. Orvieto sits perched on a rocky cliff in the province of Umbria. During the Middle Ages, it was a papal retreat. Let me introduce you to its medieval streets and describe the city's ancient history. I'll explain how and why the popes used Orvieto as a refuge in times of plague or war. And let me show you its magnificent cathedral with the entire story of the Bible carved on its front facade. And the Eucharistic miracle from 1263 that is still preserved inside. Then we'll visit Assisi, the city of goodness, the home of St. Francis and St. Clair. Every time we go to Italy, everyone who comes along remembers this as the most beautiful and meaningful part of their trip. We'll walk its twisting medieval streets. I'll take you outside the city walls, down through the olive groves, to the church of San Damiano, where a young Francesco Bernardone heard the crucifix speak to him, saying, Rebuild my church. We'll see the humble dormitory of St. Clair and the order that she founded, the Poor Clares. And we'll pray the Canticle of the Creatures together in the garden where St. Francis composed it when he was blind and near death. We'll visit and venerate both of their tombs in the magnificent Basilica of St. Francis and Basilica of St. Clair. I'll show you the courtyard where he stood trial before the bishop and renounced his worldly wealth and began his mission in earnest. You'll see St. Francis's personal effects, which have been preserved, including his robe and his shoes and his belt. And we'll visit the awe-inspiring Basilica of Our Lady of the Angels, where I'll introduce you to the Porcha Uncula, the small chapel where Francis launched the Franciscan Order and where he died. After that, we'll travel to Tuscany and the medieval city of Siena. We'll visit the home and the remains of St. Catherine, the mystic and doctor of the church who helped persuade the Pope to return the papacy to Rome from southern France. I'll introduce you to its wondrous cathedral, which was left incomplete due to the plague of the Black Death, and tell you the story of the uncorrupted Eucharistic hosts that have been housed here for centuries. And we'll see the famous Piazza da Campo, where one of the world's longest running athletic competitions is still held. We'll end our pilgrimage in the city of beauty, Florence. The city of art and architecture, literature and politics, business and diplomacy a city of human genius and service to God. We'll see Michelangelo's David and his tomb. We'll visit the home and tomb of Dante Alighieri, who wrote the greatest Catholic story ever told. I'll show you the Uffizi Museum, home of the one of the world's greatest collections of Catholic art. And we'll climb Brunelleschi's famous dome to see all of Tuscany spread before us. And we'll finish with an afternoon of wine tasting in the Tuscan countryside as we reflect together and share what we've experienced and refresh ourselves before our trip home. Let me be your guide and teacher as we travel together with 206 Tours to discover the true, the good, and the beautiful in Catholic Italy.